Dusty Trill. Yeah, it was outstanding uh, defensive effort, you know, especially that second half. I thought we came out well in that first quarter, um, and then the first minute and a half, we just gave up eight points straight away. Glidden got hot. We gave a three-point play up and a layup up. So, you know, and that was a really bit of a battle there. That second quarter, we didn't really play that well, but the second half was outstanding. What you say the half-time just sort of changed the yeah, we, we just made some adjustments out there just to um, uh, offensively getting in the spots a little bit better. I thought we were rushed a little bit, and, and then when we got spots, we got opportunities. But uh, our defense was uh, pretty spot on. You know, I think the, you know, just some denying the lanes and, and really making them work for it, um, especially when Glidden was hot. It was um, a bit of a concern, but uh, we did a pretty good job. How important is it? Yeah, and it's also our bench came in. I thought Sunday was was sensational. Came in and um, you know had the tempo out there, and obviously Bryce controlled it a little bit when they were being aggressive, and he just got past them with his speed and were able to get in the lane and create. And, and then Tariko was uh, you know got going in the second half. I think in the first half he had some really good looks. Uh, the ball just wasn't dropping, and then the second half it got uh, it got a little bit hot. From where we sit, you could have given your starters a bit more bench time in the, in the last quarter. Is that a momentum thing, or just to keep team balance and structures together? Yeah, you want to coach now, do you? No, I'm just asking the question. I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the only game they've played for what two weeks. Yeah. So yeah, look, and that's. Um, they played Bryce, played 34, Tariko. You know, they're playing well. So that was, we had a good, Jesse come on, was really strong. Tommy was great. You know, really defensively, he blocked a couple of shots and changed something Sunday. You know, came on and, and uh, played well. So, you know, the bench came on and gave us some minutes. Brisbane have shown they're a different team at home mm. this year, yes. especially against, against you. So what, what happens now? You put that to bed straight away and start focusing on, on a different team that you'll be matching up against? Yeah, it's, um, you know, we've, we, they are, you know, got the tails up and they can score a whole heap of points without a question. And it's going to be our defence again. You know, it's it's probably boring from you guys to, to do it, but it's, um, you know, we're, we're pretty good defensively when we lock on and when we talk and communicate and, um, you know, and we can control the game with uh, with our defence intensity out there. I thought we... We hunted off the ball well, and we probably gave him too many uh, foul shots and too many second chance points. If I'm, you know, being really picky, uh, but yeah, it was certainly our defensive effort that got us that win. Okay, the ball wasn't dropping for you in the first half. We got a twenty percent at half time. Yeah. It really changed. What, what what changed for you in that third quarter? I mean, just shooting with more confidence. You know, the first half I was taking my shots. You know, I was kind of. Shorting and, and or sometimes it was long. You know, second half I was just, just shooting with confidence. That's all it was. You've got a lot of experience in finals. Does, does that come to the fore when you're having a, an off, off behind chief points in one half, the other turning around? Yeah, like you said, I'm uh, I'm very experienced as far as this finals. I've been different countries and, and different finals and stuff. So like I said, man, I mean, doing the finals, I'm just gonna come in and play hard and just play with confidence, whether my shots falling or not. Did you have a, an update on Mitch, see where he's at? Yeah, uh, he just wasn't quite there for today. So um, we'll work him out again tomorrow morning and he'll come to Brisbane and we'll make a, we'll make a um, call up there to see how he goes. So if it's me, I'm saying yes. It's if the medical staff, they're probably, you know, that's their job. So um, we just have to see. It's a tough decision with him. Him, like, it's such a type of game. Right. You, you know, a lot of time, obviously. So, how do you try to get through it in your own head, knowing you've got some Well, I've got to take the medical staff. You know, we, we've got some great medical staff there that, uh, you know, done a fantastic job. They've been very busy this year with our injuries, and they've done a great job. So, I'll take their advice from it and play from there. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers.